once, twice, three times the minority. Black, female, homosexual. Not considered a whole person, let alone a citizen or intellectual. See, their rules, their laws, their freedoms didn't apply to me. And when they spoke of equality, they weren't referring to me. They told me I didn't have a voice and that if I did, it would be rejected. Told me I didn't have a choice because it was being cast in shadow, subjected by their pride, fears, and desire to control anything unlike them. Disregarded, disrespected, and neglected by their ignorance, they claimed that my color was confined to slave labor, that my sex needed to be restricted by chauvinistic gender roles, and that my preference would condemn my soul. Told me I could clean their homes, but I couldn't reside amongst them. I could raise their families, but I couldn't head them alone. I could be the female athlete that left them in awe, but I could never be their daughter-in-law. Segregated, separated, set aside by society, but still superseding their supposed superiorities. Because I am once, twice, three times the person they will ever be. And I have once, twice, three times the soul they will ever own. And I am once, twice, three times stronger than they want me to be. See, they envy me, they mimic me. They want me and my bravery. They see my walk, remember its history, and want to pick up on the pace. They want to apologize, but don't know where to begin, because for centuries, I've been responsible for challenging their hearts, opening their minds, breaking barriers, abolishing adversity, and defining diversity. I add a spice to life that they're afraid to taste, but are a little curious to cook with. Their attempts to break me have given me the greatest strength, resilience, and try as they might, but they will never successfully strip me of these rights. I have been lynched, raped, and mobbed. I have been suppressed, denied, and ignored, and I will tolerate this no more. I will not start marching, rallying, advocating, and speaking until my honor is restored. I demand respect and acknowledgments for the bookmarks that I own in history. So revise all those textbooks to recall that I, yes I, was there for it all. Meaning, wars wouldn't have been won without me. Economies wouldn't have thrived without me. Advancements would have been limited and reputations devoid of any dignity without me. I was once three-fifths of a person, and now I'm president. Was once just a housewife, and now I'm CEO. Was once a taboo, and now I'm mainstream, the poster child of self-acceptance. So I'm demanding change, and I'm taking names, and I'm not even going to bother asking for equality or reparations. I just want them to dismiss themselves the hell out of my way as they realize that tomorrow will be nothing like yesterday. I am the cultural essence of this country. I have perspectives that they could never be and been places they could never be. So check the senses because the numbers do not lie. And no longer can they deny my purpose, place, or presence in this society. Because today, I am once, twice, three times the majority. Black, female, homosexual.